Let's do like the first. The thing is, like the first league of this went well. We three twoed with it. It was like really sweet and powerful. But like, I went from like fourteen hundred viewers to like a thousand viewers over the course of the league, which is so weird because I thought the deck was so sick, but I think we just didn't have a lot of believers in it. Well, I think let's just get weird today. Let's do another league of this and um, see if the first one was like a fluke. There's like so many like sick overlapping synergies here, and I I really like that you have both. Aether Vial and Scallywag is, like, good ways, and also to some extent Crime Novelist. Like, you just have a lot of ways to make a lot of mana in this deck, which is, like, in uh, Screw Prospector 2, which is, like, always, like, the, the 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 limit for archetypes like this, I feel, is that you just, like, can't make enough mana. But, um, I don't know. Let's try it. Mobius, think of the 26 months. Usually when I burn beautiful looking hand, let's give it a, give it a keep. We're up on the draw against a Gigantha though. Could be a turn one Urza Saga hand. Um, Scalding Tarn, Blood Crypt, Gigantha, Monkey. So probably interested in making tokens instead this game. Mod War Marshal, probably be a good top deck. Been losing a lot of die rolls today too. Vayner Reaper seems less good in format. Many of the top decks have random creatures lying around. Yeah, that's kind of the idea though. It's like it's pretty. It's like a two for one in your favor if they do remove it immediately, and you also like get drained for two minimum. They're casting the Goblin Engineer, putting a bobble in the yard. So I guess they can trade a treasure for a bobble every turn. Looks like we're up against Grixis Shadow. So now that I've drawn Grinding Station, I think I'm actually just going to cast it. Where I can, I get to violin the Goblin next turn. I don't, I don't think the Goblin is very likely to get to block the Ragavan, unfortunately. Um, and this, this sets me up to win the game uh, off Crime Novelist if I just get the animation module. have successfully drawn a card off their Ragvan. Animation module definitely makes the cut in the crime novelist engineer manufacturer. Yeah, we, ha we have it. <laughs> it's, also, it's also tutorable off Saga. It is in the deck. Second novelist is interesting. I think I'm playing this Saga. Well, I mean, I don't know. Game game one just making max tokens is pretty, pretty key. Oh, the other deck. Yeah, I don't know. There's just there's just kind of too many moving pieces. It maybe. I I I will I'll keep chewing on that one. It, there's gonna be, it's gonna take some time to crack that nut. I think. Also, what am I getting off the engineer? I've been getting Dragon Engine usually when I think there's removal coming. I could get... One thing is I kind of would like for them to use a removal spell on my engineer. I guess I, guess I should actually just be casting the other Crime Novelist this turn. Because, like, I mean, what are they going to do? I just have two... I'm going to get the Dragon Engine. Does this deck play Ragavan who's a goblin? Uh, I mean, Ragavan's not a goblin, so we don't have to think about it. So now they just have one mana available, which means I don't think that there's really anything they can do. I'm going to grab my animation module. Play another Urza Saga for turn. I cast Crime Novelist. Like, even if they have Dismember, which is kind of like the only card that does anything, it just doesn't matter. I even have Infinite Power Ballista here. 
So we go sack, trigger, trigger. Say yes. And tap. Say yes. Milieu. I just kind of want them to see the loop a little bit, but usually, usually people ask me, why aren't you auto yielding? I just want them to see the loop before I am um, and understand it. Cause usually people do concede in leagues. Although it doesn't seem like they are anymore. Go and save targets. So always yield. Always yield. Let me just maybe get the stack clear. If my opponent wants to show me their entire library, that's also fine it's not like it's going to take that long to mill them here yeah i'm just i'm just going to do the three at a time so I, I can i can see as much as possible Sometimes I I also remember like when I when, like when we played the the anvil deck the anvil grinding station deck people just like wouldn't realize they were being milled <laughs> they'd be like what's your win con and they have like ten cards left in their library okay so it looks like you know normal Grixis shadow so I'm bringing in snaring bridge I wonder if they're on breach these days I don't know. They probably have a, explosives. Needle for explosives seems like a, a card worthy bringing in. I don't think I'm going to bring in the Ratchet Bombs, mostly for Rhinos. I think I'm going to play the Chalices, too. Okay, don't think much else. We got cut a Prospector, cut a Matron. The Stars are pretty important. I think I'll I think I'll trim one. I think I'll cut the Shadow Spear, since I have these Chalices in play. I'm just going to go down kind of on the one-drops. Three chalices plus board. I'm <laughs> boarding in a needle though. I like to cut the prospector against like interactive decks usually. Yeah, I think I don't have a surveillance in the deck at the moment. I, I I'm not sure if you should. Like this this is a deck that really like has a hard time if you're not using all your mana every turn. You're really set up to do so. You you have a lot of like built-in flood insurance also kind of you know already cooked into the deck so i i i i feel like i'm i'm, I'm leaning towards no survey no surveil land in the in the deck but surveil lands are also <clears throat> very good so you could play it i think this is better than the combo version of goblins i don't know so like th this is like more of an artifact value pile with a goblin sub goblin sub theme and and kind of backdoor infinite combo that costs you very little to include uh it, it basically costs you like one animation module one grinding station and you can tutor both pretty effectively um it, it, it i think it plays pretty differently from that deck like it's an urza saga deck plays so many tokens and or artifacts it's 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 hard to say Over, overall Answer hard to say. Get through a one drop. Lovely. Topaz, 44 months. Thank you. Welcome back. Like, your main goblin payoff is Krinko and, like, Matron for Krinko and, like, Ma Matron in general. You also have Prospector. Kiju with the five months. Thank you. Welcome back. And, like, Mog War Marshal is kind of a weird card in this deck where it's, like, really good with Krinko and it's really good with Cauldron. Like, just to have, like, multiple creatures for Cauldron. If Grinding Station is plan B, what's plan A? Make, draw a ton of cards, make a lot of power toughness. But, yeah, that, draw a lot of cards, make a lot of power toughness. 
Which is a pretty good plan, I think. Pluto Delta. No, I'm engineer explosive, sorry. <laughs> I'm not spelling B every day. Chalice plus Urza Saga. I guess I should have attacked before playing the Saga, because if they have Dressed Down, yeah, just Drown. Where does your card draw come from? Mostly from, like, Goblin Engineer for Phyrexian Dragon Engine, and then, like, if your Engineer dies, you can, like, Cauldron your Engineer, so, like, every creature is just, like, tapping to draw three cards. Matron, Krinko is, like, board advantage, card advantage. Um, you know, also, like, sometimes, like, I when I when I say card advantage, like, Skylawag makes a treasure every single turn. Saga makes two, or a Saga tokens. Like, this, this is, like, card advantage, you know. Engineer's card advantage. Despite not, like, literally saying draw a card on it. Hopefully all of my opponent's hand, cards in hand are, are one mana. Uh-oh. Cast into the fire. Oh, I should have named Delta. 1-1 one, one Death Shadow. I boarded out my stupid Springleaf Drop or Shadow Spear. I guess I just shouldn't have done that. Upkeep fetch shocks down to eight. Fold. Shocks down to six. Then cracks the eyelet. Should definitely have cracked eyelet first, but not a huge deal. Artifact creature goblin. There is, there is one. It's a two mana two two. It's blue and red. Uh, it makes your artifacts cost one less. There's also it appears to be goblin replica. I need to play this Mogwar Marshal this turn. The channel one? I don't remember the channel one. Wait, Twin Shot Sniper's a goblin? If that was three mana, I might play it. Yeah, I was just thinking of a enthusiastic mecha knot. Opponent, what's going on? <laughs> what is going on? You can't squeeze. You have to untap with them. The tank, 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 and the turn dress down. I guess I could play both stars, and then both my constructs are seven sevens. I think I'll cast this. Red, white, novelist, engineer with recommission and spring loaded saw blades. Oh my gosh, I didn't tap the cavern for uncounterable. Oh, I th totally thought I did. It's okay, sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Is this a legal card? Oh, this one. Probably kind of sick with engineer. I agree recommission is kind of nice. Probably wasn't winning the game anyways, but still it feels bad. Okay, keep this. Almost, oh. Almost want to play Saga turn one. Do you feel like Dressed Down is underplayed card in Modern? Uh, I do, yeah. I think like Territorial Kavu specifically is super popular. There's not a lot of Dress Downs. I keep, like, registering blue decks, and I'm, like, end up regretting not having a uh, dress down. 
Yeah, I'll put this in the graveyard for you. Awkward draw. I'm gonna grab the dragon engine, I guess. Since Daring Bridge is maybe going to be tough for them to beat, I don't know how many casts into the fires they play. I don't think Just Down's super good against Yogg, but it does have text in that matchup. Okay, land would be nice. Although, am I gonna am I gonna cast the Ensnaring Bridge? I think I'm going to make a token. It's like the ch it doesn't even stop this from attacking this turn. Is it like to play Tide Binder? It, it could. I don't, I don't think it probably does. Got a basic land with a shadow? This is now because if they have Bowmaster, they're not going to be able to kill my Scallywag. Uncountable, uncountable, uncountable. Did you play around Brist dressed down with Ensnaring Bridge? I mean, they, they couldn't have attacked with their 2 2 shadows and then dressed down, no. So I, th I think I played around it. Gigantha into their hand. Three other cards. I was just thinking about drawing this. I can play 3 3 Ballista. Um, I think I'm going to go for 1 1 Ballista with the ability to animation module. Although, I guess. Wait, does Scolding always counter Ballista? Scolding always counters Ballista, right? So maybe I should have fetched first, though, because I could have saved the fetch and got another treasure. Looking for an Agatha Soul Cauldron, mostly. Main phase of the dress down. Goodbye, construct. Pretty dead to a. This is, you could have covered on construct instead of second gob. Yeah. yeah, I agree that Stalker is interesting. Uh, it, it is a card I've considered for the deck. I was going to unearth the dragon engine, but maybe it's just better for me to, like, make a bunch of servos here. This way, if they do find the disenchant for the bridge, we're not just dead. How do they have both of those cards? When they've cast either one last turn? Bowmaster to the graveyard, Thoughtseize into the graveyard. Finds a Bloodstained Mire. And a third Death Shadow. That's a lot of Death Shadows. Ha would be happy with uh, another way to trigger Descend, including this engineer which can maybe start going crazy with the dragon engine I think put a cauldron in the yard so I get to make a treasure which also will let me sack the treasure trigger the crime novelist activate the module 
and make two more servos. They can maybe just die to like one ones attacking if they're not careful with their life total. Doesn't grinding station the air just win? Uh, yeah, I guess. I mean, the, the cauldron is also going to win because of the ballista. Should kind of just the same, but the cauldron's better if the crime novelist dies. Prince thinking. Hopefully, they just cast Gigantha. Almost kind of feels like they drew cast into the fire, and they're trying to think like, if I even cast into the fire here, like, am I going to be able to like? attack with my shadows unfortunately that is exactly what <laughs> happened I think we're still in pretty good shape like they're just dead if they don't do like anything one of their cards one of the three cards is just a gigantha so I think pretty easy block block Sack this. So yes to animation module. Activate animation module. So at the moment my opponent is dead to Goblin Engineer activate. Get back the Agatha Soul Cauldron. Cauldron the Ballista. Are they also just dead to me attacking with everything? They are. So, assuming I want to play around a removal spell. I guess I should also unearth the dragon engine, huh? And this deck is sick. Because now they just have to have three things here. But they only they have two unknowns. Still not a fan of Scrubber Mech over a couple of War Marshals. Yeah, I think War Marshal is better, kind of simply put. Because they block here, remove here, and then they die. Or block here, remove here, they're still dead. They have to use two removal spells first. And then if they if they do anything, if they do use two removal spells, I can just kill them with the Engineer. Okay. Okay. One and no. That could just continue to be a mulligan. They're also on a mulligan. All those alt art cards in the side. Where if that chalice of the void? I think that's it, right? As far as alt art goes. Um, what am I putting back? Mob War Marshal, maybe? You think it might be worth running a one of Mistress Reacher's desk in case we don't want to sack anything to Goblin Engineer? You could play a research desk, but... Um, what would you play it over? And I, I, I guess I'm a little confused as to the correlation with in case we don't want to sack anything to Goblin Engineer. I guess yeah, what is what is what does that mean? Underground Mortuary could be up against Yogg, which I think is a, a bad matchup. <laughs> You're playing creature deck, <laughs> you have a bad matchup against Yogg Mob. Guess I'm gonna grab grinding station. In case you don't have anything to sect engineer, sure. Okay. Matchup gets a lot better post board. Gonna bring in a haywire might this time. Maybe I did last time too, I can't remember. Oof. Yeah, like but one. Th th this is honestly like just a huge part of the problem of the matchup too. Is that their cauldron just like is graveyard hate? Okay, I'm gonna see if I draw a land. Yikers! Did draw the land. I guess the engineer wasn't doing the most. Why is this goblin not? Maybe it was there. I 
Yeah, we have our own cauldrons, so we get to do that. We we get to bring in needles. We have haywire mite for their cauldron. Maybe we should bring in two haywire mites. Not sure. Thankfully, they only have one card in their hand, so, you know. I, I think last time we played this matchup, Dingo was on Yogg, and Dingo got pretty flooded in one of the games, and we, despite the graveyard hate from Cauldron being pretty tough to deal with, we won anyways. Okay. Game two. Needle, needle, mo I, I, someone suggested Karn earlier. I think it was mostly a joke. I mean, Karn is Karn is really good when you just are making tons and tons of mana. And that, that's kind of it. You you need to be playing like Tron lands, coffers, Titan, bounce land stuff. I think for Karn to be a good card to play. Yeah, I see. The combo loop is grinding station plus crime novelist plus animation module is infinite mills and uh, infinite power toughness. And the, yeah, it was the joke because I I. I Especially back when deck techs were a bit more uh, common on the stream, we just have so many deck techs with Karn, the Great Creator, just as a four mana card, and you just really can't play Karn. Just like I'm just going to cast this for four mana and then tutor an artifact with it. I think my issue with Research Desk is just so mana intensive, and like we, we do have a lot of ways to make mana, but we also have a lot of mana sinks already. Yeah, I'm going to go to the Hunter Burton. We need to sign up. Yeah, when Lattice was a thing, Karn was maybe a bit more reasonable. Okay, on the play. Okay, I got turn one animation module, turn two Scallywag, make a treasure token. Gonna try to get stomping ground for my Haywire Mite. I've used Bray as Apprentice instead of Dragon Engine as a value three drop, and it's pretty good. I mean, I, I Dragon Engine has been, like, phenomenal, I think. It's, it draws three cards, Bray as Apprentice. I mean, how many cards does that draw? If you untap with it, it gets to draw one. Enterprising Scallywag. New pet card unlocked. Apatra. Kind of surprised to see you, Apatra. So I guess I'm going to go grab Ballista. Then play Cauldron. Attack for two. How's the Aether Vial? Are there enough creatures to be worth it? Yeah, I have 23. Don't, don't count Ballista. It's pretty well within the range. Does the deck feel good? I think so. We're four and two with it overall, and it's been it's got a lot of cool tricks up its sleeve. It's a deck that I like. Now what are we doing here? Good matron for crime novelist, but amazing exactly. I get Krinko. I guess I wouldn't get Krinko because Krinko goes pretty well with um, the Cauldron on Ballista. So I guess I just have two of the bad arts, on, on, unfortunately. So they're going to cast their Yogg. Which I guess because they have a Patra also is just going to really cook me. What can I even do? I guess I can ping my own Matron here. And then they won't get to do the loop. If they had targeted a two-toughness creature, would have had a harder time. 
you really got a big brain your way through <laughs> through this kind of matchup. Casting vial with treasure means you just get another treasure instead. No, descend is not does doesn't trigger off treasures. Only non token. Really got them there to be honest. That's kind of a blowout. Never mind. Okay, what can we do? I don't think really anything since they have the cauldron to answer my cauldron. Just have to let them kill my board, draw four. Probably cooked. Yeah, Yagmoth is so good. It's just like all the card draw, all the ramp, just has everything. Oh, and they get to like go after my yard here. The guy, 52 months. Thank you. Welcome back. This is always the cre your creature deck. is just your worst matchup is Yagmoth. Don't think I'm tapping Cauldron. Okay. Um, notably, if, we were play, if we're playing Krinko over Matron, which I like, think the numbers of Krinko and Matron is kind of confusing for me, we probably would have won that game if that if our Matron was just just was a Krinko. Um, just have too much like Cauldron Ballista power toughness. On the draw, new matchup. We do have a Vial. The Matron. I think we're going to mulligan this hand. A little bit too much air. This hand's a lot better. We'll sometimes play Saga turn one if I feel like I just have to be. If, if, if my opponent plays like Amulet of Vigor turn one, I'll play Saga turn one and try to combo turn three or at least get like some stuff going. Sometimes you just go Star. Come on, dude. Back to back Yogs. Maybe we should main deck a needle. I gotta be down for main deck needle. The, this matchup seems tough. I think I will play the Saga turn one also. The draw against Yogg. Okay, well. Very, very, very rewarded. So now we just have the combo next turn, although... This cauldron, cauldron doesn't, yeah, it doesn't break it up. If we were on the play, <laughs> I guess we are on the play we weren't drawing this grinding station. It's the time to unban Jitte to fight Yogg. I don't know. I think Jitte would be pretty mediocre. I guess. I guess. I guess with, um, it wouldn't. I, actually, it probably wouldn't be now that you have Clo uh, cloak, seems pretty, and the other stuff. But I don't know. I, I people always go. Have you? Did you play around? Did you play with Jitte back in the day? It's like it's just like such a different format, such a different like era of Magic. You know what I mean? Like, the game is just so different now. I I, I, re I really don't think Jitte would be particularly good. I don't think it would be particularly bad, necessarily. But I'm not, like... I, I just don't really think it would do much. I think Dark Depths is one of the most dangerous cards to unban, conversely. It's just, like, just the game, the game and the formats, they were just... So, it was just so different. Did you play Jitte back then? I played a lot with Jitte in Legacy, but I didn't play Jitte in like Standard or whatever. When do I go for this? Their upkeep, probably. Jitte can win games on its own. This it, it just won't though. 
<laughs> it can. It, a lot of cards can win games on their own. It, it, it like it just literally will not win games on its own. Like it's slow. Your play is super telegraphed. It's very disruptable. There's a ton of ways to incidentally kill artifacts and enchantments these days. It like it just won't. <laughs> it just won't. Okay, so if they have a main deck endurance and it's in their hand, we lose or we don't lose, but they they cast it right. I, I I don't think Jitte would be awful or anything, but I, I I don't think it would be like a format defining card. I think it would be like kind of fringe playable and. Your opponents would be pretty ready for it, and I don't know. Also, Jitte literally can't win the game alone. You have to have like a creature that you're able to effectively attack with it. In modern, the removal is so efficient; it's it's not even like <laughs> it's like like even if like you're going turn one Javier, turn two. Um, if you're going turn one Javier, turn two Jitte, it's like there's like a really good chance you're just on the draw. Your opponent has Orcish Bowmaster and you lose. And I don't know. What deck would you recommend to beat Yogg and not be terrible against the field? Rhinos. I mean, what does this do though? Because like my, my Novelist is just too big for them to kill here. So they have to like draw in main deck endurance or something. Oh, they're just gonna kill my servo. They didn't realize that they could kill the servo. <laughs> so I don't have any other artifacts to sack to start the loop besides my loop cards and then they also get to cauldron grist on my crime novelist well played well played oh right right sorry they can't minus two the grist though they can't minus two the grist sorry okay okay that's way better They do target the Grist. Can they deal? Can they minus 10? They probably can't minus 10 very easily here. We got Milhapatra. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. They can do 6 right now. 7. <laughs> they, if they have Cord, they can get a Grist. True. That was cool how... <laughs> Um, I didn't realize they could, like, break up the combo by me just milling their Yawgmoth. A good learning lesson. I guess I was supposed to, like, have them try to tap the cauldron end of turn. But they also, like, I don't know if they, like, knew the combo was going to happen or not because they, they're pausing a lot. Okay, down a game. Those feel like we could maybe use a needle in the main deck. In paper, I never realized the trigger stack and way you could break it up. Yeah. So Magical Line helps you, helps you get better. Yagmoth, the police of modern seems. Well, I don't know. It's just like we've been playing a bunch of creature decks today, and Yagmoth is just super good against creature decks. It was like it was kind of like always like so. I don't know. I mean, Rakdos also very good against it too. Back with Fury, just supposed to pass until your turn in case you have another artifact to restart. Um, I'm not sure. I it's. I was maybe just supposed to lead on my turn there, but I, I didn't have the mana to like cast the Chromatic Star and restart the loop. I'm not really sure if there's anything I could have done. Could have um If they tap the cauldron end of turn, yeah. Maybe upkeep is better. So no if you had waited to untap you'd win. Oh, just just don't do anything until you untap. And then they can't really make a move. Yeah, I guess that was the that's the that's the play. Okay, another one lander. This one has Aether Vial and a Prospector. Let's put back the engine, I guess. Okay, 
Could leave all the mill abilities on the stack and let them resolve at once. Oh, shit. Yeah, you can do that. So we we punt it. We could have won then. Unfortunately, confirmed. Confirmed punt now. Yeah, you you don't you can just like keep the mill triggers on the stack, respond to them, mill them infinite. Okay, good to know. Good to good to have the line in mind for next time. Yeah, there's a lot going on here. I think I'm. I, I ended up not playing the challenge on Saturday. I ended up playing limited RCQ, lost in the top four of a two slaughter. Unfortunately, didn't lose a, a game with my sealed deck. My opponents, my opponents deck in the, in the in the top four was like so nauseating though. They had um. They had the the blue white five five make two clues sack. They had the blue they had the blue red um, sweeper draw two discard and deal damage equal to mana value. They had um, was I supposed to sack the star? I don't think so. I'm gonna sack the goblin here though. They had the the red white uh, like two four double strike. Exile suspect card. I had a lot of suspect in my deck too. And then attack makes something suspected if if there's nothing suspected. That that card was the card is pretty good against me. Um, let's go ahead and turn engineer. They had they had like they had like they had at least one more like rare too. It was it was brutal. It was so brutal. My deck was really good, but I, I told the story too earlier. But game one, I mulliganed, but I was really ahead. I had like I had my Aurelia in play. I was like my opponent was at three life. I had like three lethal attackers and a two two against my opponent's kind of kind of anemic board, and they're like, I guess I gotta go for it. And then they like, they just cast their sweeper and kill my board. It was like so so tilting, <laughs> just max tilting. Okay, so I think I'm supposed to put the Ballista in the yard and then maybe go for, like, Krinko, Cauldron Ballista. I have to draw a land for that, though. Maybe we'll just get Needle. Let's get Needle. Maybe they had to draw the Man of War card. No, they, they went... They, they So they, they, act, they actually said that after they drew the two cards. They said... they, they At first, they're like... <clears throat> And then, then they cast it, and then, and then, and then, and then they said, "I guess I have to go for it." They discard the four maker. I don't know what they were thinking about. Like, I don't know if there's like anything they're like playing around with this, hemming and hawing. But I, I don't know. I don't really think so. On the job, maybe I I don't know. It was it was tough, and I still nearly won that game too. I actually I actually still nearly won that game uh, later, I, and I was I was top decking pretty well, and then um they got me really hard with the, like the the flip uh, disguise creature that untapped the thing. Would Aether Vial for Artifacts be good for Modern? Uh, probably be good in Modern, which is not always the same thing. Anyway, I lost in the top four. It was a good run, though, for an old constructed gamer like me. Probably should have waited on the Krinko. I was thinking for a second I might attack with the engineer and like put a counter, but I think we're just chilling. I think they're gonna go for my Yeah, that makes sense. I was kinda of thinking against like Besage you force of vigor, I have the ability to like weld the needle back into play, like sack the sack whatever they target. I guess I could sack it and then get it back. You stack the triggers incorrectly on the draw. 
and get mana for one three. Could have casted Cauldron. I mean, I got the mana. So yeah, how, how, what did, how did I do it wrong? I mean, I don't I, I used one mana from Engineer. I have one mana from the from the the novelist. I don't have a land untapped. How does stacking the triggers give me a second mana? have five cards in their hand still. Land would be really nice. Crime Novelist would be nice. Okay. Drew a second land this game. I think I'm always just attacking first so they don't have the info that I'm about to cauldron their grist. Plus one counter, you get one mana or power resolution. I, I already I already got the the mana. I guess the the extra counter was nice, but did I I I, I the extra mana didn't help. I, I I did not have I would not have had a second red mana. I'm pretty sure I got the mana anyways. Sorry, that's the that was I meant to cast the the cauldron instead. Baited. <laughs> So they didn't, like, sack their Rex Age or get their Dried Arbor, which is weird because I can just, like, engineer. To get the uh, needle back. Can we do this in upkeep? Maybe in response to them doing something also. Like if they if they crack their fetch, I feel like I want to do it before they can hard cast an endurance. Or get Dryad Arbor maybe. Well, I will re-needle the Yogmoth. We get the Arbor anyways. So I can also cauldron the uh, Krinko ability, which could Go kind of crazy with this Grist. Honestly, like maybe even too crazy. Okay, so I'll, I'll plus one. Maybe you can mill like a Blista. Okay, did not mill like exactly Blista. Not super likely, obviously. Um, I guess I don't get the ability to make, I don't get the ability to make a Goblin because that's tied to the Krinko static. So maybe I should just make a construct. That was probably their draw for sure. Maybe they would sandbag that card. No right way, I did mill my Shadow Spear off my Goblin Grist. I 
I could maybe weld back this turn by cauldroning my engineer. Doesn't feel like I really want a second saga token that badly. Yeah, I'm down to just second needle Yogmoth. Then let's go Cauldron, Target, Goblin, Engineer. Put a counter on this insect. Guess maybe, maybe should have plussed first, could have found Ballista. I may also Engineer kill the Blood Artist. Let me do this first. Okay, so let's use this Goblin Engineer to kill the Blood Artist. So can, yeah, definitely a, a, <laughs> a lot going on today, huh? Did I plus both my, I think I plus both my insects here. Yeah, plus both of them. I can still sacrifice an artifact here to put a counter on my, in, my, on my engineer, I guess. Could have maybe attacked with my engineer then. They found Force of Vigor to kill both Needles. I guess I should have put Sack the Needle to put a counter. Probably doesn't matter very much. They also don't have their Blood Artist in their deck anymore, so actually winning the game from this spot is probably not possible at 7 life. Hmm. No Grist. They have Dryad Arbor Halfling... <laughs> Skirk Prospector's options. Funny, this insect token now has two loyalty counters on it, but cannot activate any abilities. <laughs> okay, I mean, I do have a backup cauldron, but they don't have Grist Krinko Engineer underneath them. They have cauldron to check my cauldron. I guess, sorry, turn off, turn off. the Krinko ability to put a counter on each goblin. Goblin's a 2-4-5 four, four, now. Well, I guess their, Krinko, their Yawgmoth can become a 3-5 with the, their Cauldron if they do a main phase. I think they're pretty dead. I don't know. We'll see. For a turn that started with them casting a Force of Vigor, that seemed like the best, their best possible card. It sure does seem like they're still super dead, huh? I'm gonna attack. <laughs> they have something else. No, I think it was prompting them to pay cost on the proliferate. But they do have something else. I guess prol proliferate on the constructs. Okay. And put the counter on the construct. I don't know. It would just go to minus one, minus one, so it would be kind of okay. All right, this this goes to minus one, minus one, then goes back up to two, two. Oh, I guess I don't get to violin my crime novelist anymore, but I'm counting that they're taking six. I also have a haywire might abilities on my creatures now, which can get their cauldron. Okay, long ass game two. Be awesome to win this game three. I'm gonna click. 
submit, I think. On the draw. Yeah, we played the Urza deck. It didn't go super well. Be kind of open to playing it again at some point, though. Yeah, opponent's playing super tight. It's not fair. <laughs> not fair at all. Might just not play the second vial so I can get Scallywag going. May also like need to in needle engineer for needle next turn. It's kind of close either way. I, mean, I think it's got Star and Aether Vial maybe. It's nice they don't really have much to do on turn two. Yeah, I'm gonna go for getting some extra man off the Scallywag. Crime Novelist, Krinko, Modular Grinding Stations, Unlimited Goblins. Well, you don't need Krinko. I mean, it is Unlimited Goblins, but minus the Krinko, it's Infinite Mill on uh, Infinite Power on the Crime Novelist. I love my little Scallywag so much. Yeah, I can just sack this to a Engineer later, maybe. Force of Vigor, possibly. Maybe Cord for Haywire Might. Another Ballista. That's interesting. So I think I will cast Chromatic Star. Cast Goblin Eng Engineer for Agatha's Soul Cauldron to go with my um, Ballista that I've drawn. And then the next one probably gets Needle, but this, but this, I think my play is a little bit less telegraphed. Although I guess maybe it's obvious I have another Engineer because I didn't tap my Vial. We get a uh, another treasure token also. Not super weak to Force of Vigor. Doesn't even do particularly anything. Endurance is also not so bad since I have second engineer. I may get... Um, because I have two engineers, I may just get Phyrexian Dragon Engine. End of turn. Two Mortuaries. Is that stock? I feel like I haven't seen the second one before. Rail lands are just so good. Just nobody's playing enough. So tap Blooming Marsh. I'm going to take three down to 13. If they, have a, if they have Bowmasters, then me going for Dragon Engine is pretty tough. Although I could maybe... I could Ballista first. Just Ballista on one to play around it. Yeah, I think I'm going to get the Dragon Engine. I, I know it's kind of weird to not get the Needle, but I think my opponent just has... Uh, like disenchants in their hand. Okay, so we'll play Ballista on one first. Yeah, I'm, I'm playing. I'm playing Ballista to play around the Bowmasters, and then I think I'll play the Star out. Is a Treasure Goblin good? Or it could be something else. I think I love the card. It's like my favorite card in the deck. I don't know. So not much point to make, get something off Matron and then discard it to the engine, I suppose. Let's get the Crime Novelist. Sack this for red, red. Sack the Dragon Engine, get it a bread back, and then I can go sack both stars for mana neutral and extra counters on the Crime Novelist. If we can find a Cauldron, that would be really nice because then we get to Cauldron the Ballista onto the Novelist potentially. Novelist is pretty good. We also get a star end of turn, or sorry, a treasure end of turn. Something to note. Am I doing anything with this goblin engineer? I could get a cauldron with it now, I could get a cauldron with it next turn. Let's just see what we draw off the star first. 
My opponent is doing something in response to this, which is Force of Vigor? Possibly the worst Force of Vigor could ever be against us. They're worried about me putting a counter on my Ballista and killing their Delighted Halfling, I guess. Let's go upstairs. Worst Force of Vigor in history. Awesome. Okay, so we draw another card. Four mana. I guess I'm just going to go cast Goblin Engineer for Agatha's Soul Cauldron. Cast Vile, cast Sh Shadow Spear. Attack for two. Oh, no, I'm going to cast the Haywire Might because uh, I'm going to get the treasure end of turn, which allows me to might a possible cauldron. Oh, yeah, sorry, second Stark's Mana positive, duh. Neutral. Had a few permanents enter the graveyard this turn. Why didn't they wait till you sink the mana to Busta? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Probably itching to use their force of vigor. I, I, I honestly can't believe it was this bad. <laughs> yeah, they, they kept the endurance force of vigor, which are usually just so good against me, and happened to not line up super well. So cool to vile and marvelous. Zero mana makes four mana, gets four counters. Now we also have three Goblin Engineers to like go crazy with here. They have no good attacks. They have three cards in their hand. It doesn't seem like they have a particularly good play this turn. Might as well tick up. Okay, I'm going to sack... Okay, hold on. I guess I'll go play Mountain. Play Shadow Spear. Sacrifice the Aether Vial to try to get back my Dragon Engine. Just see what we draw off the Dragon Engine. To make a red from Crime Novelist. This the Goblin Engineer is like very good, a very good card in this deck, and I, I, I definitely, I, I feel like it's taken so long. Like this is a Modern Horizons one card. It's taken so long for me to feel like it's very good. I've played some decks where I think it's, I think it's been okay, it's been good, it's been mid, it's been. Solid, but like this is the first time I'm like, wow, Engineer is just kind of the best card in the deck. I don't know. So they cord for Yogg in response. I guess I shouldn't. I'll just respond to their first sacrifice with getting back my cauldron. They only have two cards. They kind of have to have another have an endurance to do anything, and they have to draw it off the Yogg because they clearly don't have have it now. Yeah, I remember Engineer, so many Engineer trash for treasure decks. They're trying to put a minus one counter on my Haywire Might, so I'll just sack the Haywire Might to return the Cauldron. Using the floating red mana, getting a red mana back. Shaper Sanctuary is not a playable magic card. Sure is a card people have played, but that card is pretty awful, I think. So their Yawgmoth Draw gets fizzled. Still have an untapped engineer. And then putting it, turning my Crime Novelist into a Ballista should be pretty good. I respond now. JF, 48 months. Thank you. Welcome back. Alright, the counter just goes away. <laughs> So let's go get back star, sack the dragon engine. This is already, yeah, this is already a blista. Okay, well, we won. I'll, I'll take two and one after facing Yogg twice, which, which is like almost certainly our worst matchup. Turns out Skylake was the missing piece for Cauldron Goblins all along. Yeah, I mean, also like <laughs> two new cards, but yeah, Skylake is very, very, very good. And it also, like, punted game one, so yeah, it was kind of like a 3 0. <laughs> kind of like a 3 0, huh? I don't hate leading on Saga in the blind here. I'm going to lead on Mountain.
Pluto Delta Go. I know this is the first run. This is the second run. This is the second league we played on stream. Uh, first one was a 3-2. and I don't know, the Second run. The Delta's kind of throwing me off here a little bit, to be honest. Um, wish that was in my hand last time. The, the War Marshals are like... This is kind of like exactly why you play War Marshals, because they're like pretty good with Krinko. Um, without Krinko, they're kind of like... Not that worth it. But Krinko's also really good in the deck, so I think you want to make sure your Krinkos are good enough. The the L's went really bad. I think we were like 0-4, 0-5. Yeah, maybe it's the scam, Zoo deck. I do like, you know, playing more things to sack. Um, just trying to think, am I... So I think I want to go, like, get another star, tap that star to Krinko. It's also so bad if I tap the Krinko and then they bolt in response. Let's let's just hold it. I want to get the extra mana. So grab a star, play Cavern on Goblin. Cast Crime Novelist. Sack here. Gonna. Okay, so yeah, this ability still lasts. So get we'll get the counter, we'll get the mana first. Yeah, I, I'm I, I'm playing four matron three Krinko. I was doing three three split last time. Other than that, I mostly just wanted to run it back. Okay, so they did have the bolts. So I feel like I played around that about as good as we could have. Um, so I'm about to have the ability to pay a mana for a goblin. Let me just go ahead and sack this. Well, I guess I could have made another goblin, potentially. Oh, now I can go cauldron. Maybe I don't know if I want to go cauldron this turn. Yeah, I think I just want to go make a goblin. Everything gets a counter. Cast scallywag. And then get, get a treasure token. I'm kind of set up to... Continue to do some stuff next turn. Cauldron the Krinko. Main phase is the binding on the Novelist. It's bad news. Uh, what happens if I quadruple block? Yeah, I don't even... Not even a profitable block. Can't really take nine, though. So I think I'm going to triple up here. All-time Leyland Binding. Oh, they're playing the Calibrated Blast deck. Oh, didn't even recognize it. This, this deck, I think, was pretty okay when we played it uh, last week. We'll play it again. Should, yeah, just dead now to the uh, Scion. Can't, can't remember how our record overall was. I feel like it was pretty okay. Didn't notice until the... To the cottage. I think it was like six and four or something like that. Um, Haywire Might for Leyline Binding and Leyline of the Guild Pact both seem pretty important. And Snaring Bridge seems pretty good. Uh, I think we need a Soul Guide Lantern also to mess with their like calibrated blast cottage shenanigans. I don't think we need two. I will just cut the prospectors and the war marshals. Been doing that a lot. I guess these cards are maybe not super mandatory. Especially now that we're on less Krinkos. It's kind of interesting. I'm going to keep this one. They do have Leyline of the Guild Pact. How long would you leave your leftovers in the fridge before you want to eat them? Usually not more than like... Usually if they're two days old, I won't eat them anymore. Which is kind of kind of low, I think. Low threshold for leftovers. No, oh, just gonna wait a turn on the star here. I may I may want one less card in my hand because of the bridge. Yeah, it, it does depend on like yeah what are the leftovers, but yeah, I think I've got a pretty low threshold for moving on from the meal.
Goodbye, ensnaring bridge. I guess I'm gonna go matron for engineer. Okay. Yeah, I still think I'm matroning for engineer this turn. I guess I could have gone matron for engineer and played it. I could have gone Krinko Sack this turn. I also go Krinko Sack and then put a counter on the engineer. And I also may draw something better to do than Krinko. There's probably not a lot that meets that qualification. Plays Witch's Cottage, nothing to get back. Three cards in hand. Removal spell on Engineer would make this tough unless we draw, like, Agatha's Soul Cauldron exactly. They should have four Bolt, four Tribal Flames, four Leyland Binding overall. How long to take this and Mono Blue Cauldron to merge them? I've been I've been thinking a little bit about it. <laughs> um, I guess we grab Dragon Engine because we don't really. Yeah, I think we just grab Dragon Engine. Hello, Lucy. Hello. Okay, so main phasing the Calibrated Blast, or my end of turn casting it, hitting Tribal Flame, so dealing me only two damage. At the moment, at least. If they have a land, uh, they're, oh, they have a Leyline Binding. So it's like extra tough that we can't even like cauldron the ability. I, 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 I don't know. We have to like Haywire Might or something. <laughs> Just yellow, get, getting the 15 damage off Shadow. We're dead. Playing for another 3 2, I guess. I'll take back to back 3 2s with Crime Novelist Goblins. Pretty close together. It was like, we had like two or three really good leagues with them. And then ever since then, I've been just like chasing that high. I've just been like convinced. Okay, the real Kahira here. Yeah, Unban Fury, make elves better. Priest of Titania implies other elves in the set. I, I think so, yeah. There's, there's a chance it's like the draft archetype too. Which would be really sick. Good old one land, Aether Vile Hand. They're real key heroes, so no Scion of Draco, no Leyline of the Guild Pact. Guess they're just like four color Omnath. Oh, they're like they're like actually elementals. Dude, I've like never seen Unsettled Mariner and and like like these like I've never seen like Prismatic Ending, Leyline Binding, Unsettled Mariner <laughs> in all my years. An interesting formula. I don't really care about the Mariner that much. I guess it stops me from like bulleting them out late in the game. It's very odd because I feel like when you're playing Mariner, you're like all my creatures are are uh, <laughs> all my cards are creatures mostly. Not playing like eight removal spells. Not gonna offer the not gonna accept the trade, I think, if they offer it. Hmm, so we could play the novelist this turn. I could also go I think what I should probably do instead is go star, sacrifice, kinda hope to draw land and then and then have two treasures for my novelist next turn. So draw engineer. It could be good. I think I just want to get the double scallywag established. And then it would it could be good to like just draw a land next turn and go novelist four mana, go kind of crazy. They also, they also only have three cards in their hand at the moment. 
we can't combo with Mariner out. Uh, yeah, whatever. We can do some stuff. Kihira in the hand. I'm gonna take seven here. Kind of okay. This is their whole turn. Could also double block the Mariner. Maybe double blocking the Mariner is good. Uh, I, I'm not sure. It's also it's really bad if they have a removal spell. Okay. So it's kind of unfortunate that I don't have a land for this turn. Do that. Okay, okay. You win. You win. You win. <laughs> Okay, bring in uh, how you are, might uh, for sure. I think it might overshadow spear. Maybe just call it there. I'm gonna play game two. It's an interesting elementals build. I wonder if unsettled mariner is how good is that card in modern right now? It's like surprisingly really good against Yogg. It's fine against Rhinos. How good is this hand right now? We're on the play, and it's like possible if we top deck a land, but I think we just have to mulligan. But it's also on the mull the six at the moment. Y'all can still draw cards with the minus one. Yeah, but it's like if you're gonna play Unsettled Mariner and you're like like usually the biggest problem is like the combination of like Yogg is like killing all your creatures and drawing a lot of cards. Drawing a lot of cards, obviously. Is very relevant to my favorite store bought cookie. I don't know. I I I've been uh, losing a lot of weight lately, actually, and trying to not. <laughs> I haven't really had any sugar or like just like or, or alcohol, like any like any unhealthy stuff for like almost two weeks now. So I've just forgotten completely what good food tastes like. <laughs> Eating a lot of turkey and salmon. Doing plan cheat days. It's not really because the thing is like, I just I just really don't care about food that, enough to like not 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 like eat healthy and lose weight for a couple months. I'm just like I'm just like pretty comfortable, <laughs> um, a ignoring unhealthy stuff for a month and a half, and I just I just I, I've been I'm feeling motivated to lose weight too, so I'm just kind of going hard without really. Any, any cheat days. Oh, I do love Indian food. Yeah, I've been eating a lot of, like, rice dishes and, like, spring rolls sometimes. Maybe my opponent just cracked the code that, like, Unsettled Mariner is just... Like, maybe they don't even have Risen Reef in their deck. Unsettled Mariner is just a great two-drop. <laughs> I don't know. Price all sugar with pure lemon zest. Hmm. They got five cards in their hand over there. If I draw a land, I'm probably just gonna tap, make a token. This is this is also interesting. Infinite options, and I'm getting called by the mold guy. Hold on. So the, the latest and the so again I, I, I it's a long long tail of the mold guy, but we had like a leaky pipe last year that was still leaking and caused some mold in like the garage, and then we got the pipe fixed and then we got we got this guy to come out and look at it and then he like he was supposed to be here like last Monday, and then he didn't show up. And then he was supposed to be a Wednesday, didn't show up, did finally show up on Saturday. 
and then he he just called and said that he's in the hospital <laughs> and can't come today <laughs> to finish the job. So, well, we'll see if we'll see. The, the, he he did he did get the mold out. He did get the mold out, but we just have a big hole in the wall now, where the mold used to be. So I'm definitely sacking one of these to get a uh a descend. Okay, didn't want it to land here. <laughs> but it's just it's just been a long long process. Thoughts to Haywire might overstar in the main deck? I don't really think it makes a lot of sense, but I don't know, you could be onto something. Star is really good. I'm just going to grab another crime novelist. And not offer the trade because I really need this treasure. From the saga. Uh, yeah. It's kind of awkward with the Mariner, right? Did they have the Mariner in play? Sorry, I was on the, on the phone. Was he wearing PPE? I don't, I don't know. I wasn't here. I was actually at the RCQ when he was in here. When he was here. I, don't know, I, th I, think he, I, I don't think he's lying about any of the stuff. It's, it's just, you know. Get to always talk to the mold guy every day. Any progress on the piano lore? Oh yes, we had had uh, when like Esther's music teacher has like a friend who came and looked at it, and they told us it was not worth salvaging. That it would like <laughs> it would just cost way too much money. They like they and and it, they they like strongly recommended not <laughs> not restoring it. So. We're gonna look into other options. Piano wise. Okay, Kahira into the hands. Solitude maybe getting evoked here. Back on the curb. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so now we have now we have a, a piano in our garage that I guess we put on the curb. <laughs> yeah, was it the mold? So they're also playing Ephemerate. Okay, the Ephemerate's gonna I think we can't beat the rebound Ephemerate. Probably a good a good stopping point in today's stream, so got kicked around a little bit. I think this deck the shell has like a lot has some potential. I I am starting to think that the, the, the war marshals aren't good and the prospector aren't good. And I think it could be kind of interesting to do something like this. Like even even maybe just moving away from the goblin synergies. And just being like, Krinko is a pretty good card in the deck in general. And you're on like three Krinko, one in one Dragon Engine. But like, I, I don't think there's another good like Goblin payoff really that we could play. But we could just potentially try to figure out a way to to lower the curve. Can't quite like cookbook package. Thopter Sword with Novelist? Yeah, maybe.